What's up guys, Yannick Reed here and welcome back to the channel. As I said, my name is Yannick Reed, a uh, creative from Kingston, Jamaica and on this channel we like to talk about tech and lifestyle focusing on photography and videography. Today I wanted to just make a quick little fun video where I'm sharing this new app that I've been having some fun with called Darkroom that's available for iPhone and iPad and I just wanted to share some of the features that I like with it while just editing a couple pictures with you so you can just see how it work it is a free to try app but there is a paid subscription for like a year it's not a lot I think it's like nine dollars for the year to unlock all the features and I would say it's worth it so I'm just gonna dive into some edits I'm gonna have the, the video over here yeah on this side and I'm gonna edit on this side just a disclaimer it's very hard for me to look at the phone screen while editing on the phone so if I'm not looking directly at you please forgive me this is just the best that i can do and if there's any questions that you have while i'm editing please feel free to make note of them and drop them down in the comments as i'll try and answer whatever i know and as much as possible so yeah we have our iphone screen over here took out a little batch of images just to show like a little variety of how the app works so the first thing that we have here is just a little landscape photo around Kingston. This area is Norbrook. So we're just going to dive right in. Darkroom has a couple filters, a whole lot actually. And I think their filters are okay. They really kind of serve like a starting point, but I don't find, oh, that's not too bad. I don't find a lot of the filters to be to my liking as like a finishing point. Say in some apps, you can kind of go and touch a filter and kind of be done with them. I usually find I have to do some work, which is totally not a bad thing. There was one here that I like. Yeah, sometimes picking a filter can be kind of hard, but let's work with this. And what I love about Darkroom is that it has a whole lot of controls. A whole lot of controls. You see, wow, you see, it can't even show you where the blacks are, what's being affected and what's clipping. See, like there it shows you the warning. I'm just trying to like speed edit through these for the sake of time. I love that, I love that they have um, curves in dark room as well because you know curves has a lot of fine tune control and you have the red, green and blue channels to tweak independently. I like my blues to pop. In case you're one of those people who like to you know, you post to your Instagram and you like to have like a border around your work. You can have your one by one and scale it in or your four by five, you know, your different aspect ratios. They have different colors that you can do too. I usually don't use this because maybe if I'm posting to Instagram stories like this, I might do that, but I'd probably do it in another app, but it's there if you want it to. There is one. What I want to show you to is the export options, which I find to be particularly unique. So if you press just a little share button up here, right here, you have the option to modify original, save a copy or export to other app. I think these settings are pretty useful. Damn, you can even add a watermark on this thing. I'm just discovering this as like while using the app. I didn't even know you could add a watermark here. So, you know, if you have your own watermark, you can literally import a watermark from your photos and add them in here. That's so sick. That is so sick. I usually will um, save my stuff as HEIF. That's the format that um, iOS uses for its image. It's a pretty, really good compression format. I think it's better than um, JPEG. And it also allows you to store the edits on top. What do I mean by that? So when you hit modify original now, it's gonna ask you if it can modify this photo. And what it does is it just saves the edits on top of that image. So when you go into your gallery, right? So if I go back into my gallery, you see here, this image right here. But if you open back this image in Darkroom, you will have these edits back. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna swipe Darkroom away. I'm gonna dive back into Darkroom. And if you go back and open up, you see that your edits are like still there. So you can always go back and fix your edits, which I think is a really, dope and sick feature that's inside darkroom that i think kind of 
brings it along some other apps because you know a lot of apps will allow you to save a copy and then you have these unlimited amount of copies of your photos in your camera roll and then it gets pretty crazy and pretty messy and that's just not a fun time and if you want to go back and like just get rid of those edits there's also the reset button that you can always just go back and over here in this history tab it shows every edit that you did so you can go back to a certain step if you want just to maybe you want to dial back something or you want to change our step you can go back in this history panel and i think that's wicked let's edit another image we have this this is it you see i like the green tone a little bit more towers off on one field whatever that is i just like how they look compared to the sky i don't want all of that ground in there so let me just you can tap and hold on to the screen to see your before and after and this this histogram up here is so 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 useful so useful can you move it what that's cool that's that as well some greens all of this stuff is quarantography you know stuff that's taken around my house or within proximity to my house or all of this stuff is just mobile and ah, stuff but yeah let's dive in oh look at the greens like that oh some of these filters are really hitting the natural tone whole ton of filters to oh no i love this yeah i think i'm good with that so another thing i wanted to show you about darkroom just inside the app that i love to is that you can tap the three dots up here and you can you can copy your edits and you can just swipe because i'm in a gallery right now which is that sick to me too because you can't do that i never see that in an app before where while you're editing you can just swipe because i'm in a gallery right now you can just swipe so if you know you have a series of pictures to edit you can just go so i can just swipe to this next image which i know i want to apply the same type of edits to and i just tap the three dots here and i just go paste edits and i get the exact same edit right there these two pictures slapping so this is a portrait image now which i think is another just feature of darkroom that i'm gonna applaud getting distracted with filters anyway i'm just gonna so another feature in darkroom when you scroll up here is that with portrait images darkroom allows you to edit both the foreground and background kind of like separately them have like a little part here up at the top so you notice i'm not affecting any of the background here when i'm lifting up and i can go in the background and turn it down independently so that's really great that darkroom is so embedded into the ios system that it can read these portrait photos i can also after taking the image i can change my aperture of how much bokeh i want to bring back or take out so i want to make this thing kind of pop but still kind of look natural so i'm gonna leave it here just a little bit more it's starting to look really fake here so i'm gonna just leave it there and i love that in the foreground i can just bring up back so much of the detail in this bird house the rest of the stuff now will affect the whole of the image so it won't be each side but you just have the little foreground background part up at the top so let's edit i never use vignettes this is a good application of a vignette i must say it's a good application but i just it's not it's, it's very rare I think that's good. Let's save that. Alright, so this next image here now is a raw image that I took with the iPhone using the Highlight Camera app. There's also the Moment Camera app that's completely free that takes raw images both on Android and iOS, I believe. 
it exists but i think they've stopped supporting the android version but there's raw editing inside darkroom which is good because some apps will they will accept the raw image but they won't edit it like a raw image meaning that it'll kind of just strap um pull out the jpeg and edit it like it's a jpeg and it won't understand the, the extra data that's um inside the image so i'm gonna just hide this histogram here as you see when we imported it it kind of looked different because you know it's just showing you a preview of like the jpeg version but it's giving us the full control now that we have like the raw image because you saw when i tapped here it it can show me which one if i want to edit a jpeg version of it or a raw version of it You'll notice I kind of seem to have a bias for kind of like warm or more yellowy tones and I think that's just like a mood or a season that I go through. Sorry if it just feels very limited. I always like to clip my blocks a little. Yeah, so there you have your little raw image. Um, I think we have like a little bit more detail and color control with the raw image. You know, like even just in these parts here in between like the feathers and stuff like that where there's just a little bit more control and there's just, you know, there's just a little bit more texture to the image when we shoot it here raw. Let me think that. And here, just because we've been in um, editing inanimate objects and bushes, I thought we would just edit like a picture of a person and the only person I have to edit the photo of right now because we're home alone is myself. So I took this photo with my iPhone, you know, um, just with the self timer. I'm just chilling outside my house. So let's dive in. Yo, you know, so like there are some people on Instagram where you look and like a lot of them images, it look like their, 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 their surroundings are very neutral and black and white in color. You're probably wondering what I was doing with the HSL a while ago. The secret as to how to do that is that you see when they're taking the pictures, they pull back the saturation on all colors except natural colors and skin tones. So um it doesn't work so great for this image because there's green in it where you can like see trees and stuff like that but as you seen before i could have rolled back the yellow and um if you're ever just ever just like curious as to you know how people find so much of these just neutral areas to to take their photos of and that's how they do it they go into hsl and they select certain colors and they just dial them back this video is getting long all right so i'm cool with this one and the last thing now is the joys that Darkroom can also edit video, which is crazy. These filters are so nice on th these videos. They're, they're so nice. So if you have like a little clip on thing and you want to spice up your video, you know, and you want, you know, give it some good controls, even if you manage to import some log in here. It's not a non-linear editor, so it can't put video sequentially but it can edit like one clip at a time i really i really like either this one or this one i think i'm gonna go with this one so we'll see the before and after with that and just like we can do we can modify the original so we can always go back to the original at any time so i'm gonna do that with this video too and obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer than before and what's great is because this is integrated so well into your system you can do things like favorite images from in here and 
it will apply to your actual gallery so as you see with all these images i can go back into them and change the edits and update them at any time that i want to which i think is really dope here's just a quick flash of all the images that we edited yeah so that's dark room just wanted to make this really quick video where i just share a cool app with you maybe you can try it out for yourself it's free in the app store as i say if you have any questions about dark room or even how i edit or why i make certain choices just drop them down in the comments and i'm going to try hang out there for like the next couple of days and answer as many as possible um if there's any other apps that you want to see me try I like just live edit where we just hang out and just edit these things together just drop them in the comments i'm willing to try almost any app you know what i mean and we can just dive in and see and i'll just give you an informal review but like dark room definitely definitely gets a, a rating from me so let's go and continue to bless up yourself <laughs>